Hey guys, it's Royer from Oracle 12 and EpicDroid.com, and I am here today to show you guys how to fix one of the only annoyances that I have with the new 2019 NVIDIA Shield Android TV. That annoyance is the Netflix button on the remote. The remote is much, much better than previous models. However, my biggest problem is that I don't have Netflix. I have no plans on getting Netflix, and the button is locked into opening Netflix. It would be much more useful if I could program it to do something with one of the apps that I actually use. Fortunately, there's an app for that. So to customize this button, we're going to use the Button Mapper app by Flar2. You can get the app with a quick search on the Google Play Store or with the link in the video description down below. When you first open the Button Mapper app, it will pop up a prompt asking you if you want to enable accessibility services. Accessibility services is a service that helps make applications more accessible and easier to use for those with disabilities. In this particular case, we are going to use it to intercept the action of pressing the Netflix button and telling it to do something different. To allow the app to work with accessibility services, we will be going into settings, then the device preferences, then down to accessibility. Select the button mapper option and hit the enable button. It will then pop up a warning letting you know the risk involved with the accessibility service. If you are okay with the risk, hit the okay button. Once you've done that, you will be taken back to the button mapper application. Because the Netflix button isn't a standard button on Android devices, we have to add it manually. Scroll down to add buttons, hit the add buttons button again, then hit the Netflix button. Then hit the Customize button. Here you can select different applications or functions that you want to use with the button. You can set it to take a screenshot, power off the device, change your volume, or just do nothing at all. You also have the option to assign different functions to double tap and a long press. For me, I'm going to use all three options and have them open the streaming apps that I use. I'm going to do a single tap to open Plex, a double tap to open Disney+, and a long press to open Prime Video. Once you're done there, you are good to go. As you can see, it's a super easy process and it makes the Nvidia Shield TV that much more powerful. It opens a lot more extra functionality and gives you more control over your device. I would definitely recommend you upgrade to the pro version of the app and support Flar 2. He's an awesome developer and has done a lot for our Android community. If you guys have any questions about this process, about the Nvidia Shield TV, or about the button mapper application, feel free to leave a comment down below. We will reply as soon as we are available. If this video has been helpful to you, and if you want to see more like it, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and to share it with your friends. And as always, I just want to take a quick second to tell you all thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and you all have an awesome day.